I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. Woo! Yeah. People make money, buy a house, great, thanks. I grew up in Gravesend, Brooklyn. No one's ever heard of it. You heard of it? It looks like the outskirts of Sesame Street. Let me explain to you. It looks like that Snuff Love Kisses project in. You guys are from there. The big, fat, hairy, crappy, taken elephant. That father with the big bird, like a chunk up his butt. Look at that lady Jersey. This is fucking Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. You got grass. You got the other type of grass. The postman waves at you before he shoots you. I had a tie with a rope run hanging from a telephone pole, literally. My mom would push my phone to a puddle that was my pool. My dad, he never came home with suits and ties like a train. My dad would come to work wearing these white lab coats with blood on them. He was a butcher. <laughs> At least that's what he told us. But as a little girl, I just thought he was a really bad doctor. <laughs> Oh, the world's dead anyway. <laughs> so I grew up in Brooklyn. I grew up an only, an only child here. Anybody else an only child? You too. Cool. Two only children. Ho! Need a lot of attention. <laughs> you play Cecil as an only child? <laughs> it's sad, but my mom, to make me feel better, you know, she told me that my dog Schmutzy was my brother. <laughs> basically, if you those Jews here, Schmutzy needs dirt Yiddish. So basically, my mother needs my brother dirt, okay? Like I stood on the floor, laying on Schmutzy. <laughs> he came to bed, laying on me. <laughs> so I had to go to therapy. <laughs> so I'm Jewish, and that's the law. <laughs> I'm actually a weird ethnic group. I'm a Jewish Latina. Anybody else? Oh my god, exactly. I'm not like half Jewish, half Latina. I'm Jewish from a Latin American country. That's fucked up. <laughs> and I have to complain about it. See, I'm not sure if I like the sex more than complaining, but they both make my mouth tired. <laughs> I talk a lot today. But it's kind of like, you know, my mom's really crazy. Uh, we had no boundaries. My, my therapist called it boundaries. Boundaries. My mom literally gave me dating advice from toilet bowls. You know what I'm saying? She sits on the toilet bowl smoking cigarettes, do you know what I'm saying? With the door wide open like a living room? Like, not, not really, there's a toilet! And she's smoking cigarettes reading Madden Wise L magazine. And you know you're never gonna stop smoking when you can't take that cigarette out of your mouth and take a shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what they're like, like, stay sick of me! <laughs> Remember, after your day tonight, don't let them put a stuffing in your turkey hole. <laughs> turkey hole? I never knew if that was from the back. <laughs> but I came on stuffed. <laughs> Vagina, vagina, you know, she called it other things like Satan's front door. <laughs> you know, evolving since like the 80s, you know. Oh, I'm mad at keep it. Ooh, there it goes. It's crazy. Thank you. My dad's, my dad's, I don't have a crazy father. Like, my father's crazy. He'll say offensive things, you know, really offensive things and think it's funny, but not really he's a jerk. Do you know what I'm saying? My dad's like a cross between Archie Bunker and Tony Soprano. <laughs> Be when you have a mullet and a yarmulke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I can't believe what comes in my dad's mouth. He's like, I, I think he doesn't realize that it's not nice. He's like, uh, we had dinner, the whole family's old. He's like, Stacy, uh, I prevented a rape the other day. I'm like, Dad, that is so great. He's like, yeah, I changed my mind. Half the salt. I'm like, Daddy. I'm going to go puke in the bathroom again. <laughs> Oh god, therapy's fucked up. I hate therapy. It's so expensive, two hundred dollars an hour. It's a lot of money, right? I use a very cheap therapist. You ladies might know her, Margarita. <laughs> I have to pay literally. No one's 
insurance, two hundred dollars an hour, just for the therapist to sit there and tell me that I'm turning into my mother. <laughs> so you know what I did? I bent the therapist off my knee and I spanked her, and now she pays me two hundred dollars an hour. <laughs> So dating is hard. My boyfriend and I have uh, been together for six years now. Thanks. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not married, engaged, and pregnant. So, so thank you. <laughs> but it's crazy. We just moved in together. And, I, you know, let me add another part because I realized, you know, I didn't have enough closet space in my apartment for all my skeletons. And uh, so we moved in together. And, and my boyfriend is younger than me, which is great. Very Demi Ashton. Woo! <laughs> you know, very hot. What did you say? Because you're on the end. Okay. Woo! Thank you. And my boyfriend's younger than me, and he, he is like an animal in bed. He really, he really is. A penguin. <laughs> He's sort of black on top, very white on the bottom. <laughs> Let me be honest with you, I'm not saying that my boyfriend is small, but when I touch him, I really feel like I'm thumb wrestling him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> crazy kinky. They like, take me out clubbing and all that stuff. And I realized it's difficult to dance with a guy who has a walker. <laughs> I go shorty, it's your birthday, go party. You know, I have to bend down, it doesn't shake my butt, you know. And I step on that air hose and he get really turned on. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, it called order rock asphyxiation, you know. He never died, he just choked a little bit. <laughs> you know what female role models nowadays, right lady? They suck. The, the, the Bobby dolls turn into brat dolls. <laughs> Basically, they look like prostitutes, you see those guys? And you know, I realized, you know what good my role model is growing up looking back? Miss Pac Man. <laughs> Think about it, she's a curvy chick. Not afraid to have carbohydrates once in a while. She had a pretzel. <laughs> doesn't need a man for directions, doesn't need a GPS for directions. A man had a job, a baby had a job. She got eaten three times for one quarter. <laughs> and she swallowed. I think I think, you know, when you, you get older, you're like, things that like men used to do that you think that are nice or we call chivalrous. They're not so nice for chivalrous when you're like my age or older or whatever. Like, for instance, when a guy holds the door open for you, we all like that. Holds the door open for you, you walk by. Right, love that. You're 20, she's like, oh my god, he's so nice, he's so chivalrous, I'm gonna marry him. You're 30, she's like, he's just looking at my ass. You're 40, she's like, I hope he's looking at my ass. <laughs> you're 80, she's like, please just hold my ass up, please. <laughs> I'm fired for my last job, because I call them late all the time. It's really hard to call late for work when you're sleeping right next to your boss. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, ladies? It's really hard to keep it like, oh, I don't feel well. I'm like, you feel fine. You know what I'm saying? I'm sleeping with my boss like, before my boyfriend and before the other 17 guys. And, um, and I really they used to call late for work. And I pretended I was on route to do this, but you really under your covers, and you keep snoo she kept snoozing, but you forget to shut your snooze alarm off. So you finally just got decided to call the boss and put the covers over your head. Like, yeah, running late, the traffic is horrible. All of a sudden you hear, beep, 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 beep. The boss is like, what's that? Now that's the truck in front of me. It's backing up, but I'll be in tomorrow at uh, noon. You've done it? Yeah. You know they put down beer, they put like ginseng in beer, isn't that ridiculous? And, like herbs, fuck that. You know they just put beer, birth control pills. <laughs> and he's like, I was, I was on the first date, I was, he, I was having like strong cocktail, the appetizer, and I, I got him the entree thing, he's like, let's go home and do a little 69. <laughs> touchy-feely men, you know, the type of guys that always want to touch you, give you a massage. I don't care how old you are, where you, you work with them, you go to school with them, they always want to touch you. They always seem like, they always dirty. You never think that, they always seem a little slow, but they're just overly mothered. They'll come up behind you at work, they'll be like, you look so 
pills. You look so nice. Can we see the Let me give you a massage. Why are you so nervous? Uh, is Baby Earl the gold resting on my shoulder? Now give me a rage, you're lucky I'm my boss. I'm not coming in tomorrow. You 